So before heading out to Australia, I read a lot in the news about the Great Barrier Reef basically being in decline and it's starting to die out, which was really quite concerning. But when I got here and started to do some research into actually going there, I kind of found out the opposite. I found out that the Great Barrier Reef is recovering and they're experiencing record levels of highs in the amounts of hard coral here. So I wanted to go and explore this and see for myself what this looked like. I also arranged to get an interview with a captain of one of the ships who's going to tell us a bit more about that. And these ships go out all the time with marine biologists on board, keeping track of exactly how the reef is doing and what's going on there. And I really want to meet some of my childhood heroes from Finding Nemo. I desperately want to see a sea turtle today. I would love to see a shark as well. Preferably not a great white, but I don't think we're in the right climate for those anyway. And I've also hired a GoPro today. I've never used one before. But I'm going to try my best to get some seriously good underwater footage for you. So we'll see how that goes. And make sure you watch this video right till the end because this is one of the best videos I have ever made. You are not going to want to miss a single second of this one. My name is Justin. Let's go and explore the Great Barrier Reef. Amazing. Thank you. <laughs> so just picked up the GoPro for the day. Time to go check in and get on this boat. Let's go. Okay, so we're on the boat now on the way to the Great Barrier Reef. Just behind me now you can see Cairns where we left from. And if you are kind of wanted to come and do a trip here, this trip costs $250 to do the snorkeling. Diving's around another $100 more. But throughout this video, I'm gonna drop some random facts. I'm gonna start with this one. The Great Barrier Reef is actually 2,000, well it's over 2,300 kilometers long. It's the largest reef in the world and it can be seen from space. So I'm gonna try on some fins now and just get ready. I love snorkeling, this is gonna be one hell of a day. Let's go. Right, so we're just coming into the reef system now. You can see the water behind me has got so much more blue. In about 10 minutes, going to be hopping in and going to see what we can find down there now. Seriously hoping to find a turtle and a shark, so let's hope we can tick those off. Let's go. So I'm just here snorkeling away and then out of the darkness comes a silhouette of a sea turtle. Now I'm just going to let you enjoy the experience the same way that I did. So I've just come up after my first snorkel and I cannot believe already seen a huge sea turtle. I was just swimming along and cruising along the bottom of the ocean. There it was. So I had to go down and get a little bit of a close-up and some better snaps of it. All I've got to see now is a reef shark and we're going to be two for two. But a little interesting fact for you, coral is not actually a plant, it's an animal, which is something I didn't know before I got here. And if you look out behind me, you can see this gorgeous blue water. So I'm going to send the drone up and get some insane shots. Let's go. So it's pretty windy out here in the middle of the Great Barrier Reef and the drone struggled a little bit but I'm pretty sure we've still got some good shots in there for you. This, um, this vessel actually has a glass bottom boat attached to it so we're going to head out on that and then they're going to let us snorkel all the way back to the boat. Let's go. Okay, so we're on our way now to the second destination and apparently there's actually like a little sand island you can get onto because it's quite low tide in the minute and there's a full moon which means that the tides are moving quite a lot. But I recently just spoke to the captain and he said I can go up onto the bridge with him so let's go find him and let's go see if we can steer the ship. Let's go. So here we're now on the bridge talking to the captain. Are you the captain? Yeah. <laughs> there right. we go. 
So yeah, we're on the Great Barrier Reef, as I've already explained, and I recently read something that apparently it's been sort of like a 36 year high for the coral at the moment. Is that true? As in still hard coral coverage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's going on with all that? Is it recovering nicely? And I know there was quite a, a big decline in the reef and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, so there's lots in the media about yeah, the reef declining, but yeah, what we've been seeing, particularly at this reef here, since the last really bad mass bleaching event which was in 2017 where we had two in a row yeah we've seen this yeah massive recovery here which has been great even though we've had two mass bleaching events in between the two there wasn't much mortality so it's okay. like stressed but they they recovered nicely which is really good yeah that's the, really um, good to yeah, yeah. it wasn't for a prolonged period of time yeah so yeah what we're seeing now is an increase in the hard coral coverage yeah. Um, and yeah i would say that's that it's back at this reef in particular back yeah. um if not better than, uh, than it was before before those bleaching events, which is great. So yeah, that's really hopefully, good. yeah, it continues in that trend. Cool. But, um, yeah, we'll just see how it goes from here and then try and do as much as we can to, to help it. Awesome. So is this one we're going to a bit more colorful than the last one or because so it's this, shallower, isn't it? And there's exactly, a bit of a beach. Yeah. So this side here and as well, we've got the lower tide. Yeah. Um, but yeah, naturally it is a, um, a shallower site because we're on the lee side of the reef. So you can see we've got the sand curve here, which we'll be taking you over to. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's uh, maximum about four meters deep on the sand and some of the bombings the corals will be less than a meter deep. So it should be cool. nice and uh, close. And hopefully the visibility should be a bit nicer too, which oh. uh, always helps with more sunlight coming through and then you get more color. Cool. Well, which is great. Yeah. So we, I saw a turtle uh, in the last dive. Is there any chance of seeing a shark over here? So luckily enough, we've got Pretty much right next to the boat where we tie up, yeah. there's uh, a little bommie with a cave in there where we get a couple of white tips sometimes Ooh. chilling out in there, if not one, sometimes two, the cuddling each other. Sweet. We've been seeing that <laughs> pretty commonly um, the last couple of weeks. So yeah, if we check that out, go with a crew member and uh, should be able to just point it out for you. Nice. That yeah, that will be great. Awesome. Well, uh, this is the end of the bridge. Yeah. Come and join them on Ocean Freedom. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so you heard it from the man himself. Hopefully we're gonna to go to that little cave where he says the sharks are normally cuddling. Hopefully there's gonna be two in there. As long as there's one, I'm gonna be happy. So let's get packed up and get in the water. Alright, snorkeling all done, time to sit back and relax for the journey back and I've got good news and I've got bad news. Good news is the reef looks absolutely amazing and I hope that came across in this video. Like we said before, it's at a 36 year high for all the hard coral which is such a good thing to hear and the bad news is I did not see a reef shark. Some people actually out there saw a stingray, I missed that one as well but you're just gonna have to stick around and follow this channel because I'm gonna do some more snorkeling and I will find a shark and if anybody out there actually can get me in a shark cage Get in touch down below because I would love to see that along with I think you guys. So yeah, I absolutely love going snorkeling. It's such a great activity to do and if you get the chance, you've got to go and do it. And if you get the chance to do it on the Great Barrier Reef, one of the seven wonders of the world, take that chance because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You've got to do it whilst you're here. Okay, it's about to start getting a bit noisy now on the way back. So I'm going to catch up with you guys back on dry land. Let's go. Hi guys, thank you so much. Awesome trip. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> See you. Thank you. Back on solid ground. <laughs> well, that is one item well and truly ticked off the bucket list to explore the Great Barrier Reef. What an absolutely unbelievable experience today was. Seeing the Great Barrier Reef in all its glory and the fact that it looked really good actually after exploring some other reefs in asia they looked so much more dead there was dead coral lying around everywhere but this one there were really nice healthy patches of small coral reef systems and it just looked amazing so if you're in the area 
you have to go and explore the Great Barrier Reef. It's such a good experience. And I highly recommend going out with Ocean Freedom, which is the provider that I use today. They were super knowledgeable, so helpful, and it was just all around a great day. It would be nice to see in the media a bit more accurate scientific information than I have been seeing recently, but it's so nice to see that they managed to catch and save the reef before it got too late and what an experience. So I hope you enjoyed this video and gained something from it. I'm pretty sure you did. If you did, make sure to smash the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel because you're not gonna wanna miss where this channel is going. This is just a glimpse into where we are going in the future. It's just gonna get better and better. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Got a crocodile farm on board. I'm gonna go see the captain now and he'll let me steer the ship. Welcome to the M1. <laughs> Back to my man for a cocktail. Bioluminescent plankton of Cambodia. Yeah.